Welcome to yet another Power Automate video. In this video, we shall see how to create an automated cloud flow to copy new files from a folder in your PC to a SharePoint folder using a pre-existing template in Power Automate Cloud. On your screens, you can see a SharePoint upload folder wherein monthly performance Excel files are created every month. Let's double click and open this folder. You can see a November 2021.xlsx file. Every month, files like this are created. We want to create a flow in Power Automate Cloud that uploads the new files that are created automatically into a SharePoint folder. On your screens, you can see my SharePoint account. My folders are in the Documents Library. So let's click on Documents Library. On the left pane, you can see an Excel folder. Let's click on this. In this folder, you can see two subfolders. We want to upload the newly created files into the Performance folder. Let's see how we can create a Power Automate Cloudflow for this purpose. On your screens, you can see my Power Automate account. We need at least a trial version of Power Automate account for creating and running this flow. To find the appropriate template to create our flow, let's type new file in the search window. The third template, which is copy new files from your PC to SharePoint, is the template that we want. Let's click on this. So this template helps us to create an automated flow to copy new files from your PC to SharePoint. When a file is added to your Windows desktop PC, it will be copied to a SharePoint site and document library that you select. Note that you need to install the on-premises gateway and leave your PC on and connect it to the internet for this template to function. Now let's scroll down. This flow will connect to the file system and SharePoint. For creating a file system, let's click on Create. Here we have to enter a name for connection. Let's call it Desktop Folder. In the Root Folder, which is a mandatory field, we have to provide the path to the folder containing the files that we want to upload. So let's go back to our folder. Right click on the SharePoint Upload Folder. Click on Copy as Path. Let's go back to Power Automate Flow. Paste the folder path here. We do not want the opening and closing double quotes. So let's delete the closing double quote as well as the opening double quote. The authentication type is Windows Authentication, which means that we have to use the username and password that we use to log into Windows. For finding our username, we can go to Command Prompt in the search window in Windows. Let's type Command. You can see the Command Prompt. Let's click on Command Prompt. Here we can type Who am I without any space. Press Enter. Here we see our Windows user ID. Let's copy this. Control C. In the username box, let's paste the copied username. Now we have to provide the Windows password to connect the desktop folder to the Power Automate Cloudflow, we need to create a gateway. For that, let's go to Windows, search for On-Premises Data Gateway. If it's not available, we have to download On-Premises Data Gateway. So let's go to Windows Search, type On-Premises. There's no On-Premises Data Gateway. We can select this option, Download On-Premises Data Gateway from Official Download Center. Here we have On-Premises Data Gateway. Click on Download. The Gateway Install file is getting downloaded. You can see the Gateway Install.exe file. Let's double click on this and install the file. Install to. A folder is selected by default. You can select any folder that you want. Let's check the box I accept the Terms of Use and Privacy Statement. Click on Install and the installation is underway email address to use with this gateway. We have to have a work or school email address to use with this gateway. Click on sign in. Select the Microsoft account. Type the password. Click on sign in. It is asking for authentication. Let's select register a new gateway on this computer. Click on next. New on-premises data gateway name. Let's call it PC2PA. 
we have to provide a recovery key. This key is needed to restore the gateway and can't be changed, so record it in a safe place. The recovery key should be 8 character minimum. Click on configure. The gateway PC to PA is online and ready to be used. This gateway can be used to connect to Power Apps, Power Automate as well as Power BI. Let's click on close, go back to Power Automate flow and select this gateway. Let's expand the drop down against gateway and select PC to PA. Click on create. We can see a green tick mark which shows a valid connection. Now we have to sign into SharePoint. So let's click on sign in here. A connection has been created automatically. This will be the automated flow and the trigger is when one or more files are added or modified metadata only. So based on the date or time of creation or modification of a file in the folder, this flow will be triggered. So here we have to provide the folder path. So let's go back to our folder, right click on this folder, copy as path and let's paste the path here. Remove the double quotes. The output of this step will be used for the input of the next step. So select an output from previous steps, that is the list of files. Get the file content as the next step and the file content will be obtained from the list of files ID, which is a property of the list of files variable. The next step will be the create file. Create file is used for uploading files into SharePoint. Here we have to give the site address. Let's expand this. Here we have the site address of SharePoint. In case you do not find the site address of SharePoint, in the SharePoint site, you have to select the documents library and copy this URL, paste it in the flow. I already have the URL here, so I'm going to select this URL. The folder path must start with an existing library. Add folders if needed. Let's click on this folder icon. Performance folder is a subfolder in the Excel folder, so let's expand Show Contents, select Performance. The file name is the list of files, that is the variable created in the first step, and the file content is also from the first step. So we've completed the flow. Click on the Save button. The syntax has been checked. Your flow is ready to go. We recommend you test it. I've created a new file November 21 in the folder. Let's test the flow. So click on test, select manually, click on test. The flow is running. The first step is completed and both the steps are completed. You can see green ticks in both the steps. We get the message your flow ran successfully. So the most important thing that we have to remember is we have to add a new file to the folder before testing this flow. Now let's go to the SharePoint folder and check whether the file has been uploaded. Let's open the performance folder and we see that the new file november21.xls has been uploaded here. So our test is successful. If we click on my flows, you can see the flow that we've created. The type is automated. To see the details of the flow, we can click on this. The details of the flow is given here. Copy new files from your PC to SharePoint. When a file is added to your Windows desktop PC, it will be copied to a SharePoint site and document library that you select. Note that you will need to install the on-premises data gateway and leave your PC on and connect it to the internet for this template to function. We see the 28-day run history and the status is succeeded. When we tested the flow, we triggered the flow manually. Now I'm going to add a new file to the folder. Let's see whether adding a new file to the folder triggers this flow and uploads it automatically to the SharePoint folder. I have created a new file December21.xlsx. Let's add this to the SharePoint upload folder. Control X. Let me open this. Control V. Now let's see whether the flow triggers automatically. Let's refresh the Power Automate page. Go to My Flows. Select the flow. Expand the ellipsis and click on Run History. You can see the flow running and has succeeded. Let's go to the SharePoint folder, refresh the page and we find that December21.xlsx has been uploaded automatically by the flow that we've created. 
Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content, including 41 exclusive videos on Power BI PL300 certification exam. Please subscribe to our channel and while subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all options so that you shall be notified as soon as we upload new content in our channel. We are very grateful to our subscribers and viewers for their continued support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.